Pavilion. Nice to meet you. Good to, good to meet you here. Welcome to our Huawei Cloud booth. I actually just created my own digital human. Wow, impressive. Nowadays, since uh, we have uh, connect our digital human okay. uh, with the uh, large language models, okay. so make uh, our digital human more uh, interactive. And you can talk. Let's yeah. test it. Hello, Sarah. Yesterday it was raining and I was caught by surprise. Did it rain in Barcelona today? So no need to worry about that umbrella today. Based on this kind of solutions, you can have all kinds of scenarios. William, as you know, uh, I'm from Germany, a okay. country with lots of manufacturing, and I'm curious to know how is AI used these days in manufacturing industries? I think you already find a lot of uh, robots hmm. uh, in the factory. Okay? Absolutely. Yes. So, uh, if the robot plus AI, hmm. what will happen? I want to show you. Okay. You just uh, push the pack into the hole. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. I see. That's actually a, a lot more challenging and tricky to assemble, right? It's a little bit difficult for humans to handle it. And for this robot, the solution is for the embodied AI. The reason why it can have this strong, very precisely movement is just because that on one hand, we need the hardware. But if you want to make the hardware, the movement more precisely, not only the hardware itself, you need software, you need the AI. We can use the AI resource from the cloud. You have a huge and plenty AI resource for you to train the models and then push this kind of intelligence to the robot. Make the, the robot more smarter. Smarter and more effective. We hope that uh, in the future, the hardware don't need to do this kind of uh, upgrade. They can download the intelligence from the cloud to the robot and make the robot always have the latest uh, AI technology inside. Very cool. I can see the future. Yeah. Okay. One of the biggest strengths of the uh, Huawei Cloud's AI is to create value for to be scenarios and for the various industries. I'm excited to learn more about one of my favorite industries, uh, railways. And I'd uh, love to learn from you how the Tango AI model is being used in that industry. If you have a powerful high-speed uh, railway, mm -hmm. uh, you must uh, guarantee the safety and the reliability. This one is the end of the train. They need to do the inspection. They need to check if this one moves it a lot. They have a line. If okay. the line like this is alignment, unfortunately, in some case, just losing one circle is a difficult. It's a threat for our safety. If just losing one circle, it's difficult for you to see its alignment. We can use the robot on one hand to take the picture from the bottom. On the other hand, this 2D picture is not enough. We also use the laser, use the 3D cloud point. So you send this 2D and 3D information uh, to the angle models, okay. and the angle models can tell you what happened. We can check that it's losing 1.1 okay. millimeters. And this one is missing. This one is alignment. We hope that this AI for industry can help our vertical industries to solve the real challenge. As we know, uh, especially here at MWC, data is becoming ever more important. Yes. How do we use all the data to program our robots and, and all the use cases that we have seen? If we want to uh, reach this kind of a level, mm -hmm. we need a huge data to train the models. Currently, the data cannot be directly used for the model training. You okay. need to do the data preparation. We can have a lot of this uh, AI uh, algorithm to do this data preparation automatically. The important thing is that uh, uh, pro provide a knowledge-centric data foundation. In one uh, enterprise, the, uh, they have a different kind of format. Okay. Some data is in your document. Some data is in your database. Some data is in some table. What we provide is 
uh, graph AI, we try to make the data from different kind place to have the connection. If the data have the connection, then it can be knowledge. Useful and improved productivity. We would like to have a knowledge-centric uh, data foundation for you. So uh, you can use uh, this uh, data, this knowledge directly. This will be improve your uh, models training efficiency a lot. I love that. Okay, okay yeah. Very cool to see.